This is Simon Stark, and in this video we are looking at ZM and South Vietnam. So fundamentally, ZM was a corrupt and nepotistic leader. Now this meant that he favoured family members for positions of responsibility. And the only real reason why he gained support from the US was because there was nobody better. Now he filled his government with family members, for example his brother Dinh Nu was prime minister and other large positions were given to his family. Now large amounts of US aid were also taken by ZM and his family and his government focused on repression rather than democracy. ZM's main objective was therefore to preserve his own power and he was initially able to do this by creating a loyal but corrupt ruling group and because of the support he received from the US. However, despite the support from the US, there was still much opposition within South Vietnam. So Kennedy himself um, saw Vietnam as a place of great importance as he believed it could secure the future of a democratic Southeast Asia. Now this was part of his domino theory. As a result, Kennedy wanted to expand USA's non-nuclear capabilities. Now this would end the restriction caused by Eisenhower's massive retaliation approach. Now ultimately the communist revolts in South Vietnam could not be dealt through massive retaliation and would have to be dealt on the ground instead. Now therefore both Kennedy and General Maxwell Taylor, who was an ally of Kennedy and a policy maker in Vietnam, backed counterinsurgency. And counterinsurgency tactics were used to defeat guerrilla warfare as they focused on gathering intelligence and infiltrating the enemy. And guerrilla warfare was basically on the ground fighting and close combat. Now in November 1961, both Taylor and Walt Roscow, who was the chair of the state planning department policy, were sent to Vietnam to assess the situation. And they recommended an increase in helicopter forces to carry out counterinsurgency actions, training for the South Vietnamese army, and an increase in US combat forces and some strategic bombing of North Vietnam. Now Kennedy decided to carry on with the counterinsurgency tactics rather than sending in ground troops, yet he did see the validity in training South Vietnamese troops. Now Kennedy himself in government received many conflicting views on Vietnam as on one hand there were hawks in the Washington DC who advocated intervention in Vietnam whereas other people like Charles de Gaulle who was the Prime Minister of France argued that the US would be trapped in Vietnam like the French in Dien Bien Phu. So one of the methods used in uh, South Vietnam was the Strategic Hamlet Programme, which was initiated in 1962. And this was under Operation Sunrise, which was a counter-offensive against the Viet Cong. And the aim was to create enclosures which would house South Vietnamese rural peasants. Now, ultimately, this would protect them from the Viet Cong. Now peasants were put under pressure to move into these hamlets and by the end of 1962 there were over 3,000 hamlets and 4 million people in them. Now for both ZM and Nu, this program acted as a way in which they could spread their own influence. However, there were many problems associated with the strategic hamlet program as it often led to the improved recruitment of peasants within into the Viet Cong. Now, furthermore, any compensated money owed towards the peasants also fell into the hands of the corrupt officials. Now, the hamlets were also built hastily and the security was poor, so this meant that they became easy targets for the Viet Cong, who were almost impossible to isolate from the hamlets. Now, this meant that this particular program collapsed soon after it was initiated. Now, a year after, there was also the Buddhist crisis of 1963, and ZM was a staunch Roman Catholic, and therefore he favoured the Catholic religion. Now, many Catholic exiles from the North got employment in government or the military. However, ZM also made the mistake of attacking the Buddhist community, which made up 70% of the South Vietnamese population. And the crisis really came in May 1963 when Buddhists were restricted from flying their flags in honour of the, the Buddhist birthday. And this was despite the fact that Catholics had been encouraged to fly papal flags just a week earlier. 
Now, the military were then used to prevent crowds from hearing a speech from Tri Quang, and Tri Quang was the, the Buddhist leader, and nine people were killed in this incident, triggering protests throughout South Vietnam. Now, these protests were organised and coordinated, and soon the foreign press became involved. Now, Tri Quang even met with the US officials, blaming them for their support towards Diem, and demanding that pressure must be placed on him to carry out reforms. Now, the crisis deepened when an elderly Buddhist monk, Quan Doc, publicly burnt himself alive in Saigon, and similar acts like these were to follow. Now, on August the 21st, 1963, there was a new assault launched on the Buddhists when a, an assault was launched on the Buddhist towers, and over 1,400 Buddhists were arrested. Now, all of these problems did eventually lead to the assassination of President ZM, as after the renewed assault upon the Buddhists, Roger Hillsman sent a telegram to the US ambassador in South Vietnam, Henry Cabot Lodge. And this telegram said that Lodge should attempt to find alternative leadership in South Vietnam. Now, this message was approved by Kennedy, however, he was aware of the implications of removing a sovereign leader. Now, therefore, he sent both Robert McNamara and General Taylor to Vietnam to assess the situation. And they found that ZM was not prepared to stop the repression of the population, and they recommended holding back further financial and political support. However, this reduction in support encouraged the dis dissident generals in South Vietnam to plan a coup against ZM. Now, on the 1st of November 1963, South Vietnamese rebel generals activated a military coup against ZM and his government. The next day, both ZM and his brother Nu were brutally assassinated, and although Kennedy refused to have cooperated with the assassination, without the USA, it would not have been initiated. So, thank you for watching this video, and see you soon. Bye.